Well, hello to an episode of Electro Noob. Um, not not an episode, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. I'm trying out this uh, Mobius uh, action cam. I can't see it nor aim it, but that's okay. Um, I was a bit sick of Android crashing and messing me around as I did a recording, so maybe this would be okay. Um, anyway, so the project I'm working on at the moment is this. So you've got an Arduino. I've put a little ground coil here. I don't know if it's, it will help, I just thought I'd test. So that's connected to ground. That's a sine wave output of this synthesizer, which will synthesize um, sine waves at uh, a given frequency up to about 40 megahertz. And then there's a uh, USB to uh, serial adapter to connect to the Arduino. So not just for programming, but also for sending messages backwards and forwards between the computer, uh, for debugging and things. But anyway, um, I don't know if this coil helps at all, but I just soldered that on quickly, I figured. Why not have a play? Um, I've had a little short length of wire just so that uh, I can um, pick up this transmitter from this software defined radio dongle, which the dongle itself is only about six or seven pounds. Uh, the DDS module from eBay is about five pounds four pounds depending where you get it from. The little converter for USB to serial was only a couple of pounds on eBay and that Arduino was only a few pounds as well so for you know for say ten pounds I'm not sure what the project box cost me I got that from Maplin somewhere in the UK um, but yeah about ten pounds and you have a signal generator now it does sine waves up to as I say from like DC up to uh, 40 megahertz. Oh, excuse me. But um, it can do sine wave up to about one megahertz, I think. But I've not no re. I've got no use for that right now, so that's fine. Um, okay. So I've written a program. It's on there, which connects to the uh, DDS module. Oh well, the lid's not working now. Um, I put this stupid coil in. I don't, it doesn't really need it, obviously, and especially when you plug the laptop in. It's, you know, there's enough grounding anyway. But I just I did it because I thought, oh, that would be a good idea. But probably not. Okay, so back to the laptop. So that's the camera, the Mobius Action Cam. Um, but the bit I want to show you is software-defined radio software. So if I just turn it on, it's currently set to 25 megahertz. And uh, as I say, there's the aerial. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on, and now it's set to transmit at 25 megahertz, but slightly off that frequency to create an upper sideband transmission, if that makes any sense. We'll see. Okay, so USB power. That's pretty much it. It's not very pretty, not very nice. It sounds horrible, but uh, yeah. So it plays a Tetris tune <laughs> to uh, to an upper sideband radio, I guess. That's the modulation. Um, yeah, it'll play again in a moment, I think. Which I'll turn the volume down a touch. Um, in fact, I'll turn the gain down more. The thing that's really strange is there's a massive delay between um, each each attempt to play back that tune, which I don't know why, but you know, 
I'm not really that concerned. So I've just hit reset. Yeah, it probably sounds horrible. Oh, sugar. Uh, let me just zoom in a bit. 25 megahertz. You can see now the window of the um, upper sideband. So you've got your center frequency and then the upper sideband. And um, something else worth, worth noticing as well, if you move the marker across, there's an approximately, there's like a one kilohertz offset, which seems to do nothing. Um, so what I had to do is when I converted the notes to frequencies, um, which I wrote a little program in PHP, I mean the code is simple. Open a lookup table, put it all into memory, look at the music sheet, well I say sheet, it's just a text file with notes in, which is that one. which then the output of this program gives you a sequence of notes. So 25 megahertz plus 2318 hertz. And in fact, what I've had to do as well is I've had to um, add this one kilohertz offset as well so that um, it would play correctly. Otherwise, it just didn't work. Um, so the audible range is this window here one kilohertz up and uh, should be about two and a half kilohertz or something I'm not sure yet yeah. and you can see here 2.5 kilohertz so you get sort of you know where is it it's there one kilohertz oh hang on a second oh I don't know what I'm talking about that's point one kilohertz actually it's not one kilohertz is it do you know what? Yeah, yeah, it is. Sorry. So that's megahertz, hundreds, hundred thousand, ten thousand, one k, a hundred hertz. Is it? Oh, forget that anyway. But anyway, there needs to be offset. I had to add one k offset on top of the notes to make it sound proper. Otherwise, it just didn't work. Sorry for the confusion informa confusing information there. Um, the lookup table I just grabbed off online somewhere randomly. <laughs> um, was the Arduino? And um, yeah, that's the loop anyway. Um, there's nothing to it. Uh, the code which I base this off of should have information in the header. Um, there you go. Hopefully you can read that. And you can see the bar as it bounces around the frequencies. And also the, that there, the waterfall display. Anyway, I hope that's interesting. That's kind of a win. This wasn't an epic fail after all. That's nice. Um, and test of the camera as well. Bye.